Keith Phillips with the Vicksburg Daily News. I'm standing here with Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. There's a manhunt that happened yesterday. Sheriff, what can you tell us? Uh, about three o'clock yesterday afternoon, Deputy Thomas McBride stopped a uh, red Chevrolet Tahoe on Culkin Road uh, near the intersection of Boy Scout Road. The vehicle was not displaying a tag. Uh, when he pulled the vehicle over, the passenger jumped out and ran on foot. Uh, that we brought several other units in, including canine officers. Uh, found out that the driver of the vehicle uh, actually had warrants, misdemeanor warrants, uh, out of a traffic violation, so he was arrested. Uh, put additional officers in the woods. Uh, we tracked this individual uh, for an hour or so, lost the track. We feel like he had made it back to the road. Uh, we continued to leave officers in the area throughout the evening and the night. Uh, yesterday evening, we received another tip that he was possibly sighted on Culkin Road near Highway 61. Again, put K-9 officers uh, on the ground. We were in the woods uh, in that area. Uh, at that time, he tracked out towards the highway. And within minutes of that, we received a call of a possible sighting on East Clay Street, uh, just inside the city limits. Uh, we responded to that area and were able to locate him, took him into custody, and after running his name, we found that he was wanted out of West Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana, for burglary and possession of stolen property. And he's wanted out of Wilkerson County, Mississippi, uh, for grand larceny. Uh, he'll also face misdemeanor charges here, uh, providing false information to the law enforcement and resisting arrest. He's currently in the Warren County Jail, uh, being held without bond. Uh, individual's name is John. Joseph Barr, he's a 44-year-old male out of Moselle, Mississippi. And I uh, would like to really thank the public for the tips. We were receiving phone calls throughout the evening of possible sightings. We were able to, we feel like, keep him contained to a fairly tight area, and I uh, were able to take him into custody about about uh, 9.30 last night he was in custody. Okay, and when will he go to court, sir? He'll have an initial appearance today on the misdemeanor charges here, and then he will also, before the Justice Court judge, have the opportunity to uh, waive extradition to go back to the state of Louisiana. So we feel like that probably Wilkinson County will pick him up first to face their charges since that's an in-state agency and more than likely he will then be held in Wilkinson County after he addresses their charges, uh, then he'll be taken to West Patrick. All right, thank you, Sheriff.